Hello, this is Magnus from Harmonic Septunes. Welcome to the walkthrough for the Emotional Cello, where we want to give you a quick overview over the functionality. It was our aim to build a virtual instrument that is very intuitive to play on one hand, but on the other hand it should be very flexible regarding the range of articulations, in regard to musical styles and the basic sound itself. We ended up with a library consisting of three true legato master patches. First, the so-called emotional cello that contains the normal articulations. Second, the sol ponte cello. And third, the harmonics master patch. Besides the master patches, you will find a bunch of non-legato key switch and single patches. Some of the articulations that you will find there aren't included in the master patches. So be sure you have a look at them, you might be surprised. So let's start with the Emotional Cello Master Patch. After loading the patch, you can see this user interface. On the left side, you can see the articulations that are available within this master patch. These articulations can be chosen by clicking on the articulation name or by using the assigned key switch node. Let's start listening to the legato articulations. By default, it's set to delicate key switch C0. You might have recognized that different legato types were involved. Depending on your playing velocity, bow change legato, finger legato or portamento will be used. Please have a look at the articulation monitor. It shows which articulation is active and which legato type is actually used. The next two keys, which is C sharp 0 and D 0, are very good companions to the delicate articulation. It is a delicate fast and a longer sustain called proud vibrato. Each of those articulations work fine for themselves, but being combined within a phrase, it enriches your melody with authentic expressive nuances. Surely you have noticed the circular control that is showing the dynamic shaping of the tone. By default this is set to CC1, which is a common assignment in most of the libraries out there, but you can easily change the MIDI control number via MIDI Learn by right clicking for PC or by control clicking for Mac. By the way, all the functions that you can see in the user interface can be automated via MIDI Learn. The three articulations that you've just heard don't need much of dynamic shaping since these articulations were recorded with a specific dynamic bowing already. The so-called X-fade articulation do need a dynamic molding. You can seamlessly crossfade between four dynamic layers from pianissimo to forte. The next key switches from E0 to G0 are, let's say, more pronounced articulations. Thank you. 
key switches from A0 to B0 cover the non-vibrato articulations. Renaissance 1 and Renaissance 2 are the complement to the moderate articulations. These are pronounced tones without vibrato. The B0 articulation is again an articulation that is crossfading between different dynamic layers. There is a hidden trick, especially for the non-vibrato articulation. You can change from non-vibrato to vibrato within the tone by pressing one of the add vibrato key switches while holding down the note. The add vibrato key switches are E-1 and F-1. We haven't yet covered the G-sharp articulation called Vivid. Vivid is for very fast and lively passages. It is not responding to the dynamic shaping via CC1 in this actual case. It is responding to velocity. <laughs> Let me show you some additional functions that concern the legato articulations. As already mentioned, the different legato types are defined by the playing velocity. You can customize your personal split points with these sliders. In our actual case, every playing velocity below 29 will trigger portamento legato. Every velocity above 82 will trigger bow change legato. And between 29 and 82, there will be finger legato triggered. Now, if you only want to have finger legato, you have to pull down portamento velocity to zero and you have to pull up bow change velocity to 127. Or if you only want to have bow change legato, you have to pull portamento velocity and bow change velocity down to zero. That's the way how you can adjust the velocity switch points to your own liking. There are some more adjustable features regarding the legato transitions. Here you have the legato trimming. If the orange bar is set to the very left, we have the longest way from the transition to the targeting sustain, which means we have a slow legato. If the bar is set to the very right, we have the shortest transition, which means we have a fast legato. Additionally, you can add an algorithm that varies the legato speed. With these arrows, you can select the different algorithms. When the algorithm is set to off, there will be the slowest legato without any trimming. When set to manual, you can trim the speed to a fixed value. Left is slow and right is fast legato. The Auto 1 to 3 algorithms will correspond to your playing speed and speeds up the legato when playing fast or slow down the legato transitions when playing slow. The Auto 3 is the most aggressive algorithm. Almost similar to that, 
you can adjust the portamento speed with the portamento trimming slider. The portamento volume knob gives you the opportunity to attenuate the transitions volume for about minus 3 dB and plus 1.5 dB. Let's have a look at the short articulations. The corresponding key switches are from G sharp minus 1 to B minus 1. At first, we have a very crisp spiccato. Maybe we should turn down the reverb a little bit. The staccato, it is slightly imperfect, but very atmospheric. The fast spiccato is designed for very fast passages. You might have noticed that there were a few key switch changes going on in this last example to give you an impression how much variety you can create with changing the short's articulation from time to time. The last articulation for this master patch that we haven't covered yet is pizzicato. This was a quick overview of the basic functions. There are some more advanced features like the reboing that we will show you with an additional walkthrough and tutorial. We also want to show you the Sul Ponticello and the harmonic master patches and some very special single patches that contain unusual aspects of the instrument. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.